Ah, a man. A man, says Marina Makes. Hi, Marina Makes. How are you doing? Hi, everybody else as well. Uh, Catch33 also in the chat. And of course, Smelly Fish Sticks. <laughs> and PCK44. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at the crowd today. Oh, wait, I already have PK8 started. Okay, I already have PK8 started. So today I w actually wanted to, I was like, I'm gonna wake up early. And then before the stream, <clears throat> I'm gonna get so much work done. And then turns out I did not go to bed early enough yesterday. <laughs> and, and, uh, and I nosedived. Um, I did some work done but not enough especially not enough on this i did some work on some other stuff so today um probably going to be a little bit i'm um, going to start out with a little bit screen design just to let you know where we're going um also not going to be streaming in the morning as long as in the previous two days because i have to pick up my uh, uh my daughter from kindergarten I stayed up gaming with my family. That was home for the week, so I'm going to chill a bit before I sleep or for a sleep midstream. That happens a lot to me. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, the the, the napping. The napping gets real, especially in my age. Naps are uh, have become a big part of my life now. <laughs> weren't so much. wasn't so much the case in my twenties. Oh, uh, there's, by the way, there's some backup um, shapes that I want to get rid of maybe here. No need for those. Oop, door. Let us, uh, also the music too probably also can get removed. Just cleaning up a little bit. Okay, um, so let me um, check out the to-do list. Wavy scrolling issues. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then there is a level UI pass coming up, uh, level customization maybe, yeah. Um, deleting UI. Yeah, uh, the UI about um, maybe if there's some levels in your history that are not solvable, maybe you can delete it. Uh, I, I am gonna push them to the back. Um, I think this goes hand in hand with the meta, uh, end game meta structure. That's kind of like the um, topics that we need to have to solve. Like, is there, what is the meta structure and so forth. Naps are the one pleasure, one of the true pleasures of life and that and food. See, I've heard this argument recently or some time ago and I, I find it quite interesting that um, we have only a tem limited time on, on, our, on this planet. And it's kind of weird that sleeping, so not being conscious. <laughs> It's so good, like it's so pleasurable. Like we'd rather spend the time, the limited time that we have not being conscious <laughs> quite often. <laughs> it's kind of weird, right? And then you wake up in the morning, it's like, oh, I, I'd like to not be conscious for a while <laughs> still. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, some deep, deeper philosophy in there maybe. Um, okay, there's an undo that we might do. Oh, by the way, have you have you guys seen the hot tweets of Zep about Picotron? Um, how there's like a undo API that's embedded in Picotron because Picotron is kind of like made for um, you're supposed to create tools in Picotron to make games. And he posted some, like Zep posted some screenshots about how he makes an API to un to quickly implement undo steps in your editors that you create for Picatron. And wow, <laughs> powerful technology. Uh, but most of the time I like shutting down and lymph, and lymph clearing or whatever. Also Picatron, okay. Sometimes I have nightmares. Dreaming has been sucking for for a bit for me. Oh, that's 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 not cool. 
Yeah, so maybe let's not, I would be happy if we can do a kind of maybe like a level customization thing where we have like a little menu when you create a new level that you maybe can do some UI stuff there. Definitely want the global stats. Although, you know what, let's put the level customization also to the end game meta structure. That's kind of like also belongs in there. Uh, I, I think global stats, definitely something that we may, uh, want to maybe take care of now. I think that's fine. <laughs> Zep really might was up here in the 2000s, yeah. Um, so yeah, global stats in the UI, for the UI. I think we kind of whittled down this this point. I don't want to um, spend too much time on the UI because we just did a lot of UI and then just doing more UI is kind of feels um, like we're going to be stopped doing this thing. And there's like, like the UI issues that we're just trying to ta tackle are kind of like linked to some overall questions that I'm kind of... Uh, yeah, that, that, um, that are difficult to... still difficult to find out at this time. I want to be spending some more time in the game maybe. Uh, the undo is definitely something... I have I had some ideas about the undo, something that we can implement today. Uh, asymmetrical connectors, something that we also can do today and then Halo stuff. Okay, but first, before we do anything, I want to spend some time doing screen design. Because the, the stuff that is coming up is going to be... It's going to involve some UI stuff. So I kind of want to... Uh, I have two mockups that I want to find out first it's kind of like the level uh, ending screen i want to find out you know what the game will look like when the level ends like when the game when the game end, ends and another one is kind of like the yeah here the information about the new level maybe we want to kind of like figure out how that's supposed to look The only problem is I don't have Pico 8 font installed. Um, skip. And I, I can't really just like make text. This is really something that's really annoying. So I, whenever I have text uh, that uses the Pico 8 font, I actually have to import it from Pico 8. Um, but yeah. So I'm thinking putting maybe something like this up here, maybe different color. Did I put it? Oh, I put it. I put it on the wrong layer. Let me let me create a new layer. That's something I really don't like about, um, or not, not not don't like, but I kind of like I find a bit difficult. But um, why is there no a new layer button? There should be a, like a new layer button here, like in Photoshop has one, like a mouse button. I know that using using the keyboard shortcuts is better, but you know, I'm only human. Um, okay. This is that shows up. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I've been listening to it for two weeks now. I mean, not just Zelda, but all the other stuff as well. And another thing that I find really weird is that I sometimes just can't, like certain features just don't work. I don't know why. Like usually control click on a layer selects the layer, but now it doesn't do that. It does this layer, but it doesn't select this. What did I do wrong? Why doesn't, doesn't it select this layer? Did I? Now it's selected. I don't understand. I honestly don't understand. Um, different color on the text. This is the extended color palette. What about this color? Ooh, ooh, don't mind if I do. That's kind of a nice color. What about these colors? Oh, look at this. Mm. 
Uh, it's a bit a bit too subtle. What about this? Oh, I like this, this orange. Also, thanks for tweeting the menu gif. Inspired, inspired me to work on my menus. I've done so much stuff. I'm used to just copying and pasting char by char every time. Uh, AEC has the fun stuff though, it, I haven't used. Yeah, I also don't like, like it's specifically in As um, Asprite, the font tool is not great. I usually just right click a layer and go to a new layer. Oh, you can right click and select it. Oh, you can do a new layer here, yeah, okay. But I would love to be able to select the, the, the things. Well, um, let's let's continue. Um, yeah, I wanted to add some uh, some data up there to kind of like give you an idea of where things are heading. And I think this is kind of like very important because that's, that kind of like addresses something I, I talked about yesterday, where I want to avoid this problem that definitely we, we, we could have where people play the game and they see the path, like the, the wavy line down on the bottom, and they think, oh, we're heading somewhere. And then, you know, they keep playing and it's like, where is this going, you know? Uh, and I want them to have, have a clear idea of, or more clear idea what this is. this is. This is just a history, you know, this is not a path necessarily, even though it's presented as one. It's just more of a um, record of what you've what you did in the game so far. I like that. Um, what if we? Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is Esprite doing? Mm, I don't. Mm, I don't. I don't like how this looks like accounting over there. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the look of it. Can we somehow liven, liven this up? Oops. Shift N is new layer. It's not what I wanted. Do, 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 do. Kind of amazing how you have to fill tool and it's quite often so useless. Hmm. Can we stroke? Uh, ugh, see that's even worse. That's even worse. That's even worse. Maybe if you remove this line, maybe the line makes it makes it really bad. Yeah, that, that definitely helped. Maybe we pull this apart a little bit. Give it a bit more space. Yeah, yeah, that, that looks better. Mm-hmm. Having uh, the minor data be color 15 to make it softer help, um, though you'd have to fade it into the BG, though maybe with, um, yeah, that's the problem. I don't want to do outlines because we haven't done 
outlines to see again right I'm shift clicking and it doesn't do that what happens why doesn't it select the stuff I don't understand what see this works but I'm doing the same thing with this layer and nothing happens is it some kind of mode that I don't understand it's not locked or anything now it works is it have to, is, does it, is it like the, it doesn't work with the layer that you currently selected? Oh, that's that's the problem. You have to select the layer that you haven't currently selected, which is so stupid. Why would you? you have to, I have to click on another layer. Oh, is, does that help this stuff here? Nope. Oh well, so click here, select, click back. Okay, I'm learning things about Esprit. <laughs> Not necessarily happy about, about, about those things, but I'm learning them. Yeah, so 15, you mean this, with this color? Yeah, that obviously won't work. Um, I could use like this color, which is, is slightly brighter. Yeah, maybe. Something disappeared, I don't know what. Oh, yeah, yeah. The timeline. Gotcha, in my game I'm abusing background color thing because I don't want to worry about backgrounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That might be a good idea. Hmm, I see what you mean. So make it pink, but then what is going to be the background color, right? If you make it, the, if you turn the, oh yeah, oh, I see what you mean. So you turn the color pink. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. You turn the color pink. Maybe that will look fine, actually. What is this? Why can't I draw? What is the problem? I'm selecting colors in a palette. What? Shift R would let you replace all colors in a layer. Is that how it works? So Shift R. No. Doesn't do anything. Ah, I know, I know, I selected the wrong layer. I have another text layer here that I accidentally created. So something like this, right? Why? Esprite, come on, give me a break. What are you doing? I didn't want to cr delete the... What the heck? Um, nah, it's a bit difficult to read. I don't know. I do like the extra, extra contrast it gives, for sure. Uh, so maybe that's something that we're going to do. We're just going to do this. And then we're going to use the salmon color as a, as a text. Something like this, that might be fun. We could also use very different colors, you know. I, I do not hate that. This is always my favorite color, I already, already told you. I think this is the most powerful color in the palette. It is a bit strong. What about pink? 
my daughter would certainly approve. Okay, that's that's a bit a bit garish. Oh, that's not bad. You can open a menu that way, strange, but I don't know. Yeah, control, maybe, um, no, uh, control R is here. There's nothing. Replace called Shift R. Ah! <gasps> oh, look at this. So I can replace this with, oh, 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 look at this. I can quickly try different colors. Now, if I knew that early, why didn't anybody tell me? You guys are not good friends. <laughs> This, this gray is, this is, is a good text color and we actually might use it down there as well. And then... Did you write Shift R or Control R? Shift R, I pressed the wrong button. It was all my fault. I take everything back I, that I said. You guys are, are, are awesome. I think I messed up the. Yeah, I think I messed up the. You have to fix the palette. Ooh. Just a nice unobtrusive color. But yeah. What, what happened here? Why, why, did, why is the palette so messed up? Um, okay. Uh, okay, so let me let me do. Why is the text still? Ugh. Shift R. Oh, that's such a good good feature. Oh man, I, I, this really revolutionizes the way I, I think about. This. So wait, so which one? This one or this one? This is so weird. An altered color palette. These are so close to each other. I literally cannot see the difference here. And then this gets replaced by I thought this one. Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what that was ticket. Someone with no S sprites. I just have to type in random numbers until my home menu looks good. Well, that could be. That's what we call the Monte Carlo method. Yeah, that's cool. And so, and then another thing that we might do is down there. We can already do like kind of like, kind of like the preview of, of what the. Um, what the difficulty level screen might look like. Something like this, right? Sometimes this, I swear, this program sometimes just completely is. Is it because what is this red border? Or this this. So I'm selecting this, right? This is this is the the layer. I'm pressing Control Copy, and I'm selecting the layer I want it to copy to. Control V. What is this? What's with this program? Uh, 
Oh, I think um, this clicking here selects the layer. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't get you guys don't see it because my 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 face is there. Okay, so let's try it again. Now it worked. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I'm getting a hang of it. I think I'm I'm I, I just leveled up. My understanding of of this program just leveled up. So the idea is that, yeah, yeah, sorry, my camera is, I'm gonna move the camera. There we go, maybe that's better. Yeah, so see, if you click, there's this, uh, this yellow outline and that means I selected the layer and not pixels. And if I click inside the pixels then the, that white outline, uh, yellow outline disappears and that's something that's uh, confusing. Yeah, but I uh, yeah flickering. I, I'm not I'm not a fan of the flickering method. I'm I kind of um, I think if you're flickering, then that is very stressful on the eyes. So I'd rather not flicker. I think the the co that's a cost. Oops. That's a cost. Um, it costs. The cost of, of that method uh, doesn't outweigh the advantage of having slightly more colors. I think it's better to invest that time and, and effort and, um, and everything into making the uh, existing colors work. Of course, clears is, is wrong. It's, it will be the difficulty, but yeah, just like a, as a general idea. So you have like the difficulty uh, selection screen, and then like two little buttons, and you can um, go through this. Um, that's really cool, and something I will be testing on my lunch break from work. Never considered that idea. The flickering, yeah. There's some examples on on uh, Lex Love forum. And there's also going to be some additional UI for the key. I'm not sure, really sure how to solve this because it is you have to we have to have UI that solves two uh, issues. First, you're being able to enter your own key, but also like a button to randomize. Maybe I'm not sure how. We're gonna solve that. Probably there's gonna be like an overlay, like a, there's like a button edit, and then you click on the edit button, and then boop, something goes up, and then you there's maybe like a keypad or two where you can type in stuff. Okay, so so far so good. Now this is the thing that's causing me a bit awesome. Also something I wanted to do. Halo debug. Nope. That is where the, that, that's a girl. We can get rid, get rid of that. E So with 0, 36, 0, 36, 
That's an interesting... Interesting. Does that come up when, when I... Wait, can I re replicate this? Or did I do... I, did I just like... Yeah, no, okay, that was just like a weird, weird bug. Oh, we need to also remember to do cancel. Cancel drag. Uh, I think this is also something that we can cancel drag. Um, cancel on drop of source. <laughs> it will make sense. Okay. Um, interesting. And now it didn't move anything. So it's update 60, and so it's an update, just an update. Uh, CRD is nil. Okay, what are we doing? So if, if it's not mouse mode, then... Are we calculating curs cursor position? Uh, if... Somehow, the heap So why is zero? That's the problem. So somehow cell Y got set to zero and that is causing troubles. Um, Dropped into Halo. We're not doing anything with the cells. the cell Y get set to zero? That makes no sense to me. Somewhere, somehow, cell Y gets to zero. So we have to kind of modify, um, monitor what cell Y is. Okay, so now it's one. Ah, now it's somehow zero. Interesting. 
and I move the card down, it's zero. Wait, but it wasn't zero the first time around? No. I know why. I know why. See, if cell y is zero and heap cell x is also zero, then this mid uh, actually returns zero, not one. <laughs> Brilliant cursor on computer science. <laughs> Are you referring this to a course, uh, course about computer science? I, I wouldn't. Hmm. Or are you referring to brilliant.com? Yeah, I always want to have somehow <laughs> brilliant.com. Okay, okay. I thought you were that was like a compliment. That's not really computer science that we're doing here. We are working with computers so. Yeah, I haven't I heard about brilliant.com, but I haven't haven't checked it out yet. Hmm. That's what we're looking for, right? No, 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 we want to... No, 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 so, so it's okay, it's okay. We just do like, want to do like a double max here, I guess. We definitely, definitely never want it to be zero. Um, but we never want to... Yeah, if cell Y is greater than this, okay, but okay, okay, yeah, that, that should be good. Did I make a mistake, Rooney? Yeah, I, I, I thought I was smart, but I not outsmarted myself, as always. Oops. Oh, that's weird. It's two now. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess min, right? Yeah, min. What? Why? Oh, because we're doing min. Oh, God. other way around max yeah we did mid before but mid didn't work ah. it caused problems because two of the numbers are zero and if two, two like if you have mid and it's one of the numbers one and two of the are zero then it will pick one of the zeros because that's kind of like a mid value it makes sense but um <laughs> mad max <laughs> did i did write mad max <laughs> yes oh what oh, there's no connection oh what oh yeah because i guess the scroll changed <laughs> that's funny it looks like screen shake. Did it? 
Endless runners. Mm, I've definitely my students made some. I could not, and I wouldn't be able to tell the names though. Some good names. here is that for this end screen that maybe maybe you have something like this you know and then edit rotate 90 something like this right maybe like this let me try this oh wait maybe not maybe let's create a new layer or like this this, this would be also good things come in and it's like level clear you know like a sash there was that advent calendar game forever ago where you're running on rooftops oh yeah 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 There's not many stats from that. We don't have to communicate a lot of information. So doing like this breakdown is kind of does nothing. Um, and you know, this text mine clear is kind of like, ugh. I actually want to maybe use a bespoke font for this.
Ah! Oh, come on. <laughs> Sometimes the selection, you just get, you want to get really smart on the selection, but it's like, come on, just do it by hand. <laughs> I swear. Sometimes Sprite is just like trolling me, just like doing the most random stuff. Like, what is this? Why cannot I? What? Oh man, no. Oh, I, I, I made a mistake here. Mistake. -y. Okay. What? What is this? Oh, I'm gonna flip out, man. Okay. Okay, I just wanna put put the button down here. Put the button down! Put the button down! Put the cookie down! It's not a tumor! It's your mode at yeah 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 thanks thanks um yeah I, I know about that um spend for six it's somehow I wasn't able to make it subtract I don't know why uh, so I clicked on it and that was apparently like obviously a toggle so you know you get you, you create that kind of problems how do I make it so that the background is not like does that no. Can I? Oh, there we go, transparent color. Just give me this. Well, wow, that's actually interesting. You can just move this around? That's so weird. Well, but that's not what I want. It's a bit of a fight with Esprite, but um, it's worth it. So fight worth fighting because um, every victory is a victory against um, against uh, Adobe. Something like this, and then you have to like, instead of play, it would say okay, and then let's save this. And let's bring us into Photoshop. Yeah, sure. That's kind of like one mock-up. Kind of like the idea is that we kind of like replicating the the borders on the sides here, right? That was the idea of that layout. Oh, you can open Sprite files in Photoshop, really? If that's the right color, by the way, I think it might not be. Mm, but that's not the font we we're looking for. What's the right font? Um, what's the font? 
no, no. Oh, uh, here, fig tree. Okay. <clears throat> Was it, what kind of weight was fig tree? Fig tree bolt. Er, really? Can I only set it? Yeah, something like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the big font really makes a huge difference. What was the size of the font that I used in the... It was like um, 14 points. It might have been 14 points. Yeah, 14. So a bit smaller. That looks good. I, ca I think I'm gonna keep that. Um, I think the key part could be a bit higher up. So it's not, it's kind of like part of the mind clear thing. It's kind of crazy that I got used to Photoshop so much. It's kind of very difficult to do anything in other program because I'm just like not used to how things work in other programs. And every time I press like some things by uh, instinct, it, it, it has like un undesired consequences. And so I end up like just reverting back to Photoshop because like the, uh, I've, I've learned it. I'm so used to it. Says Christian why he makes something like this. And then the moves is kind of like the only score that we we get. And then, you know, this gives us a kind of like a place to then later expand it and maybe do some other stats, not just the number of moves, but you know, other things. Something like this. Although I don't like that. I don't like that. That that was not good. I think. Just gonna put the key together with the moves, it's fine. And here we could also put you know information like the difficulty and so forth, and also we have like space, we can make it wider and, and you know however we want it. And, you know, the stuff comes in, so from both sides, whoop, and then whoop, opens up and then keeps keeps moving. Yeah, 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 this is good. This is good. So let us um, prepare the text because that's something that uh, some of the fonts we already have, so we don't have to do them again. So we have an eye, so we have mind already, right? So we just need to uh, write clear. And we have E and A, so we just need to write R. L is kind of like already there and then just, just a C. What, you know, it's, it's, no, it's no problem, it's no problem. I kind of love when it's like mind is already there. An exclamation point, but yeah, yeah, an exclamation point. <laughs> Nobody cares about that. Okay, so let us fix this.
I'm gonna make a copy of the of the text in case we need it later. And I'm gonna create a new layer. We're gonna merge down. So we have just the text. We obviously don't need the mind part. So we can clear that part away. Uh, we can clear the E and A, we're gonna bring them back in. So we'll be just gonna be left with R and the exclamation part. Uh, let's bring the E and A in there. I mean, we could technically grab the E and A from the shape part. Um, up here, you know, as we're drawing, but it's fine. Um, like this. Like this. I cannot spell, apparently. Now, I just wanna make sure, because usually I have like exactly two pixels spacing between the different uh, letters. Yeah, usually there's like two, exactly two, two pixels spacing. I think here's, yeah, yeah. okay. So just I just wanna keep, keep this up. So the C goes slightly in the back. And the R goes to the front. And A, is that A? Yeah. A, E, something like this. And the exclamation point goes further out. Just like spreading it all out a little. Oh, what the? Like this. And then let's bring the mind in so we can see how the whole entire text looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nice and, and, and breezy. Like I tell you, okay, here's a. Here's a hot tip, everybody. Here's a hot tip. The thing I'm doing right now is incredibly effective. It's so effective. It's kind of mind blowing that you're just putting some nice text on the screen and nice big text and it makes the game feel so much more, more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It feels like, wow, I'm seeing graphics, you know? <laughs> and it's, Weird because usually you expect, you know, oh, I'm gonna create some beautiful pixel art and so forth. And these are important too, I'm not gonna deny. But um, how do I put it? Yeah. Um, the things that look good on any given platform. Usually, I, that's my theory. The things that, that look good on a, any given platform, on any, any, any given um, uh, medium, are things that are difficult to achieve. Because the things that are easy to achieve, you see them quite often and they kind of become familiar grounds. So you're not getting that excited about them. So for example, Pico 8, looking at small 8x8 sprites, you kind of go like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, you're not really like, like wow, you know. Because it's, you see eight times eight sprites all the time. And also looking at the f typical Pico 8 font, you know, okay, it's typical Pico 8 font, it's very easy to do it. You see it everywhere because it's so easy to do it. And it kind of becomes, becomes kind of like the baseline of the, of the, of the thing. And every time you, you see something that is kind of like really difficult to achieve, that, that is kind of like costs a lot of resources for the given platform that you're working with, that will um, definitely catch your attention. So, um, big font, it's not only like big font, so it's great, but also like it's, it's extra impressive in Pico 8 because you don't see it that often in Pico 8. You don't see that kind of, um, um, how do I call it? Splendor, yeah, I would maybe call it, like if somebody invests their precious resources into showing big text, that's kind of impressive. You don't see that quite often because people usually invest the resources in other things. 
In my game, in an older version, I tried bigger text, pushed it up to eight times eight, but it seems too blocky or awkward. A text like that, that feels bold and formal or whatever, feels really nice. Yeah, yeah, you have to make sure that you invest, in, like, then you get into typography. I think typography works, um, like my impression, like a, like a cheat in the typography is always um, to introduce contrast. If you have a lot of text that is the same size, that doesn't seem so great. But if you have a big text and a small text underneath, you have the contrast between text sizes. That makes the big text pop. But also the small text adds like the texture that, that, that makes the, like it, it adds, it creates like a range of, of, of expression. And if all the text is the same size, it's kind of like this, everything just kind of like merges into one and you don't really see and feel things. So this mind clear thing, that looks impressive because you have like the little text underneath. And also because it's big text, as I said, on a, on a platform where big text is difficult to do. If everything was big, big in the screen, that wouldn't look so impressive. And conversely, we had a previous that where everything was small and that also didn't pop. But yeah, I think just like, and yeah, also I have to, you have to keep in mind what are we trying to say? We're trying to convey to the player that they, they did something, that they achieved, like we don't trying to do something like, hooray, you did it, you know, like, yay, you achieved something big, congratulations, you know, you, you're trying to be like, celebrate their, their success. Um, and so the caption being big and expressive and, and like taking up space and like, mm, punctuating, like, you did it. That's the important part. Here's some little details, you know, that's kind of like what we're trying to, um, to convey and that's what the text kind of like the we pick the text text accordingly I saw something the other day that was like a cheat of big text using ASCII and put together Yeah, you can you can I'm, I'm sure you can uh, use text using ASCII art <sighs> de, 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 de. No, but I, I had great success um, on PQ8 uh, using, um, picking opportunities to make big text appear, uh, usually worked wonders. It was like, it's a, it's a big deal. It looks like a big deal. Even though it's just, I mean, just I'm just going to Photoshop and just like using a text, <laughs> setting it. It's, it's, uh, it's quite often it's actually not such a big deal technically, but it f feels like a big deal. The only problem I have with this um, font in specific is that um, it's, it's a really nice and elegant font that is really hampered by the pixel art. Uh, the pixel art makes it makes it seem ugh, makes it seem a little bit. There is a way of 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 doing like a second view, right? Window. I swear. There's a, somehow a way to create like a second window with a different zoom. Um, ooh, I like the, that C. I like that C. It is a bit truncated, but but a bit more compact maybe. The edges of the sea kind of look. Uh, I like how they're elegant they look. There is a bit maybe too much spacing. The, usually you, you bring the L a bit closer to other letters. So let me try that. Let me 
can try to uh, flatten all of this. Oh, I've flattened everything. Okay. How does that? How does that look? I bring everything a bit closer. Ooh, no, that's that. That looks wretched. Ah. The vibes are in shambles, I tell you. Mm, I'm not sure about the R. The R looks a bit robotic. Maybe we can, we can. So I want to maybe to copy this. Oops. Okay. Um. Yeah. See that there the R doesn't look quite like that. There should be a divot there. Let's try to get that divot going. wider like this right I mean I don't hate it it's a slightly different font but we kind of like modifying the font a little bit but it's it's not too bad I think but here it could also do something like this but ugh. nah so like this and like this yeah 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 then the exclamation point a bit further out. Just a little bit wider the R to give it more more space to read. Yeah, yeah, that seems that seems nice. Captures the um, the feeling of the original text a bit more extended, um, but I like the extended part because it makes things a bit more a bit airy, you know. Yeah, let's get that clear going. So let's save this. Let's um, collapse everything down to the background layer. And let's copy this. And edit crop. I'll save as, oops, well. Edit crop. I'll save as. Text four. All right. Yeah, the R with the bridge. You seem to be liking this. Okay, that's good. I'm, I'm glad that you were on the same page. I actually posted the eight time a eight I made, and I like it, but I don't know. It's mirror. I tried to make it scribbly, but it didn't turn out. Oh, that's a nice font. I like that. What's the matter? Oops. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see what the problem is. Yeah. Um, it has, I think it, it has, um, the spacing is really extreme between the letters. And yeah, the, oh man, the um, brackets are, it look like C's. I, I have to say font design is difficult. It's very difficult because it's all about perception and, and kind of like 
you have to be tuned in to the way people read letters and also like um, you have to read positive and negative shapes you have to recognize when there's like blocks of, of empty space in between and trying to um, combat it um, you know there's like a lot of like human perception um, bugs I would say that you have to kind of exploit and be aware of so yeah it's that's, it's not a joke but I, I do I already posted it before but I do rec recommend this book for that this has a ton of uh, 8 times 8 fonts in, in it uh, from different games and you can just be inspired by them. <laughs> I mean, these are old games, so, you know. And they all, they're quite often similar, so it's not a big deal. Something I noticed, and um, that's something I just learned today, that I, I, I kind of um, want to keep in mind, is that um, this effect, you see this effect, where you have like, like um, gradient on the text, that's a very, very crazy good effect to make the uh, text seem more amazing, uh, especially if you're going for that kind of arcade colorful style. So just using the Pico 8, standard Pico 8 font, with an outline and with that grading on top, that already is a huge b uh, deal. Yeah, fonts are hard, at least certain parts of it like... But yeah, I think maybe I should design a new font, maybe overlay it in a prototype part to make sure it fits too. What's that book's name? Oh, that book is called um, Arcade Game Typography. Arcade Game Typography by Toshi Omagari. It's, 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 there's a surprising amount of fonts in it. Like, it's just fonts, you know? And they're categorized by different, by different, um, uh, types of fonts. So these are, I think, the sans serif fonts. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this awesome font here. That's from uh, um, Afterburner. And then there's some serif fonts as well. Like here's some, some serif fonts, you see? There is some good stuff. Yeah, and again, don't get the search. I think it's cool too that to have a repository of fonts for Pico 8, so we can like choose uh, choose from. It would be nice to have them all on one page, because like finding them on, on on the forum is really really difficult. So let us start, let us start working on these things. Shape of mind clear. <laughs> Shape of mind clear. Who's the author? I, I um, uh, Toshi Omagari. Okay. Ah. 
I have never played Skyward Sword. Maybe that's uh, I'm missing out. Okay. Um, right, re returning to our to-do list. Um, so we do have a score screen uh, screen design we already did, so let's do the score screen eventually. So let's put that on our list. Okay. Um, okay. Let's let's now go back to to the the issues that we wanted to solve. Wow, man, <laughs> there's some crazy clouds outside, and they're like the. Sometimes it's full sunshine, sometimes the sun gets covered by the clouds. So like the the lights is changing so crazy in my in my room here. Okay, so what are the wavy scrolling issues? The problem is that if the wavy like if you're scrolling one side, the waves will you can run outrun the waves basically. So it's like here. So the waves are here, right? And they when they leave the screen, they get respawned on the right side. But then you can go like oh, oh wait. Okay, so here are the wavies, here are the wavies, they disappear, and then we can just go, and then we can just outrun them, and then now there's no, no wavies anymore. Now they return. So I want them, if they are too far to the left, I want to reset them. Are we doing that with bubbles already? Yeah, thanks Toshi. Now that I'm thinking about it, if I have a cool font, I might run out of sprite space. Why? You can just use the alt, alt font feature that doesn't cost any sprite space. No, I mean storing color data or bigger font stuffs. Well, the thing with bigger font stuffs is if you have a bigger font, then you probably want to use it for, like in, in my game here, I have a bigger font than eight times eight, but I I just have like two things that I want to print, the name of the game and then mind clear. Just a bunch of things. I did kind of a similar thing with, um, High stakes. I had an alt font there as well, and um, I just had like a couple of things I want. I printed it with it and the numbers. Um, so you know, just really just a few things. And as for um, the gradients, that's something you can do with with software. There's at least two different ways. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's at least two different ways of doing the gradients on a font. One is um, printing the font multiple times with different colors and then using uh, clipping rectangles. 
and um, the other way is to use this um, um, I mean that's a bit crazy but you can use the uh, you know there is like this feature where you can flip the you can use second secondary screen color but you can um, set turn on and off certain lines right so you could use that also to to render font you could would, would have like a font color and that font would cycle and that color would cycle uh, according to the line you printed in So I'm a bit um, let's go like minus sixty four. That's, that makes it a bit difficult. Hmm. Something like this. If it's lagging too far behind, we're gonna move it a bit further to the front. Minus 16, right? How long is the wavy? Important stuffs would uh, hmm, the most important font stuffs would be the area names. Anyways, I was just thinking about it. Yeah, clipping gradients is fun. Yeah, scan line lets you do stuff, but I think you'd only have two colors to play with unless you use the other gradient mode, and then you'd have to manage two colors per eight block. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, I I haven't been looking into it myself. Yeah. Oh, another thing you can also do, but that's kind of like, <laughs> um, you could go other way around. So instead of, um, you make a font that is a stencil basically. Uh, and then you draw the gradient, 
like with just like you know wrecked fills and then stencil the background on top to kind of like <laughs> punch out the um, the font out of the gradients there's multiple ways of doing this and it looks i think it looks really good today there was like a tweet where somebody did that and it, and it was just using the standard pico 8 font and it looked so good okay so let's try that So this should have reset the wavies already. And apparently it didn't reset them. Wow. Really? Oh, wow. None of this ever gets triggered? No, that can't be. How do the wavies even come back? They do come back. That's how they come back, right? Is it, is it a problem with the debug somehow? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Interesting. It reset on the plus. Um, three hundred is seems like a lot. Um, but the problem is like we're spawning them pretty far to the left side so they don't like appear immediately when we start so we start yeah okay yeah and let me try this you're here right we're starting them already far to the right so they can slowly um, come in So if I put the cutoff point too um, closer to the to the side to, the, to this edge, then um, that will actually capture the spawning locations of the first wavies, and then uh, you get all the waves at the uh, immediately. So yeah. Like it's not critical, you know. It's just some a little thing, so they they're not gone forever, you know. Um, because like it's so easy to just like we're scrolling pretty far here along, the line. there's not too many. Oh, actually, actually, it's pretty pretty much a lot of entries right now. But it's just saying, you know, it's it's. Let's see, they're coming back earlier. Right It's fine. This looks good. Um, yeah, let us let us see what else we have to do today. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's draw those global stats. Let's let's do that. Um, as bright. 
this. Gonna make sure because I'm gonna have to do some um, some uh... yeah, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. print history um, hashtag history in the center, two pixels at the top of the screen. Uh, which color? Um, the one we're using is this dark orange and I think we're already using it somewhere. I think it's this color. I think we replaced brown. It replaced brown. This brown zero one two three four yeah yeah well that's definitely the wrong color oh oh okay that's the top of the screen so four yeah, yeah. see that's the right that's the right color a bit a bit higher three We should print it on top of the bubbles. Sessions. It's not going to 64 now. Um, let me find out. So something like 35. See, this is where it really pays off to create like the screen design. It kind of like you just can quickly just grab numbers. Like uh, you can figure out the layout very quickly. That's that's huge. going to be I'm gonna use this dark color which we haven't used yet I'm gonna change that to that other dark color yeah. are real they are real if you know what I'm saying oh yeah um, see it's a bit let's let's move everything a little bit up maybe even
Maybe we have to um, bring down the amplitude a little bit. But it's not too bad, I mean, whatever. Um, how how did the background thing work again in, with Kiko Aski? It's backslash. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to maybe try out. Thanks. Um, so backslash. So wait. So which one is the backslash? Is that the backslash? Like backslash, right? And then hashtag. And then the color. Um, so we are looking for this, right? Seven. Yeah, yeah, I think this is cool. Eight forty two. So they kind of like overlaid or everything. So the um, the bubbles don't interfere with, with the re readability of this. Sweet. And then, yeah, then we have to print those global variables in there. We don't have them right now, but we will. So uh, save g tr g tries equals zero and g clears equals zero. Global tries and global clears, and then g tries equals d d get zero. G clears equal G clears yeah, and equals D get two because his office is one. We just want to make sure that when we start a new level that we G tries this gets increased. That's something that we're not gonna do immediately. G tries plus equals one. And then when we win the game. Save. 
Oh, I think I will have to take off soon, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have to take off soon. Okay, just let me do one more thing. Uh, let's just see if this even works. Oh, we have to print them on the screen. Um, dot, dot g tries dot dot g clears. Okay, so we have one session. That's good. Now we're gonna play one and we'll go to the main menu and we have two sessions. Okay, now we're gonna finish one. Here and then if we restart it. Oh, it didn't save. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, two, one, reset card, two, one. Okay, good. So some good progress today, some good progress. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get some, some more progress in the evening. Um, we still have to do... Um, so we have the global stats. We want to maybe do the, um, yeah, the undo stuff and fix the connectors and also um, different color on G stats. Okay, thank you so much for joining me on this session. We are going to be back uh, this evening again. It's gonna be awesome. See you next time, bye-bye.